You know, the very first festival to be shut down in Wichita Falls due to the pandemic was the annual St. Patrick's Day Festival. I believe it. Now, after yeah. a long two-year wait, the St. Patty's Day Festival, which is now a block party, is on track to happen this Saturday. This is exciting. Curtis Jackson joins us now from downtown. So, Curtis, tell us what we can expect. Well, it may not look like much right now, but folks attending this Saturday can expect a great family-friendly atmosphere with plenty of live music. Downtown development officials along with Iron Horse Pub owner Danny Ahern have been working around the clock in order to get everything in line for this year's highly anticipated St. Patrick's Day block party in downtown Wichita Falls. There'll be live bands outside and then there's some bands inside on the Iron Horse stage. There's a kids area, we have a couple of food vendors. So just kind of the kick back off to getting St. Pat's back in downtown. Executive Director for Downtown Wichita Falls Development, Janice Schmader, says this year's block party will be a bit smaller than in the years past, but Ahern says don't let that stop you from getting out and enjoying the festivities. You know, what a, what a great time to get out and just, just be around our humans. We, we've been locked on for a couple of two years, and with all the chaos in the world, the real idea is just to get people out and, and enjoy each other and, and celebrate some diversity and, and uniqueness. Not only is it a great time to get together with friends and family, Schmader says it's a great way to show support to local businesses in the area. We're encouraging people to visit the food establishments, get your food to go, and bring it into the festival this year. And, you know, come before the festival, stay after, and patronize these businesses because they rely on our community to support them. Something that Ahern agrees with. It's unique up to go around and support different businesses. I don't care if you go to the coffee shop, the restaurants, the chocolate store. Um, there are so many different things to do down, downtown. Um, we're just kind of highlighting that. That's really the idea of this weekend to showcase that. Spending time with friends and family, all while helping local businesses bounce back. Now the St. Patrick's Day block party will kick off this Saturday after the downtown dash starts at noon. You still have plenty of time to register for that and plenty of time to purchase your tickets in advance for only $5 or you can buy your tickets at the gate for $10. Now for more information on how to purchase those tickets or if you'd like to volunteer, head over to our website. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I wore my green today, not on purpose, but I'm just saying it's very fitting. Okay, Curtis, thank you so much.